Uh, Erica, the weekly outlook uh, is always every Monday night at 8.30 New York time. So wherever you live in the world, 8.30 New York time. Okay, there you go. And we look for our real estate of the week trade, which they haven't moved too much lately. They're very tight ranges and they haven't, we haven't gotten many lately, but hey, we still, we still go looking because we make thousands and thousands and thousands of pips off of them. It's insane how much money people can make off of them. And, uh, you know, I'll just show you a couple here. Let me get this folder up. So I'll give you an, an idea what kind of pips. Steven, 107, 88, 69, 52, 30, 17, right there. Yeah, beats, you know, just one little trade. Tons and tons right there. Uh, here we go. Uh, more big, big pip captures. Uh, big ones there. There's huge ones right here. Okay. 2,882 pips right there. 2,882 pips. How about this one right here? Okay, again, 748. Uh, recording is in on the weekly outlook. Uh, everything's in there. We record everything. So, you know, go to the homepage. Log into the Academy. All right. Weekly Outlook, Resume. Yeah. There you go. Recordings right over here. Click there. And there they are. Uh, normally we're in that this room here. They're all right down here. So there we go. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So this morning we were watching the dollar. This is a session recap for the 12th day of February. One of our watches, the dollar did go up, but it's not pushing up very hard at all. As you can see, MACD does tell you you have a zero line break, but it's not convincing at all. We're making lower highs. I'd be real uh, careful of this one until it proves what it is. If I get up in here, I'm a buyer, but in here, I'm a seller. I am definitely a seller. I am not going to sell, but I am a seller. Wait and see if that's what it does. All right. So it's not clear. Let's go over to Euro. All right. Now, Euro says we're, we are selling, so they think the dollar is going to buy. All right, so they got to break out to the downside. Target is down here at 107.38. And uh, let me get the ATR up here. And Euro dollar has an ATR of 69 pips. Over to British pound, dollar, pound dollar. We got a break and a hook. Looking for the go to the downside. We don't have 55 pips left, so we're done with this one. But... Uh, 87 pip ATR, just two pips off of a fib sequence number. Target is down here, 25.66, all right? Dollar Swissy, all right? It's pushing up, all right? So that tells you they think the dollar is going up. Why? Because the Swiss franc is pegged to the dollar. We're making higher highs and low and higher lows. Mm, maybe that's going up. The target is at uh, 87.86, holding for uh, uh, 8,800 up there. And Dollar Swissy has a 69 pip ATR. Dollar yen. All right, we got a couple of traders in here. Not many. We missed this uh, basically, and they're looking for a target up here at one fifty thirteen. Let me get rid of that. One fifty thirteen and one hundred twenty pip ATR. All right, MACD clearly tells you, hey, we're pointing the way, and it's up. There it is. All right, Aussie dollar. All right, Aussie dollar. We're looking for that top right there, and uh, not very far away. We can't trade it because we don't have 55 pips left. Aussie dollar only has 54 pips. Notice Aussie ne New Zealand is 43, and Aussie Swiss are 40, and Euro pound is only 31. So those three currencies are off of our list until later, till we get some ATRs back. All right, Euro yen. All right, this is a quandary here. We're in a up channel, up channel, uh, but the chart says we're trying to go down. Is this an, an A, B, C to go up? Possibly, all right? Could very well be, or this could be a pullback. They've already made the turn to the downside. I got it down now because MACD says we're going down. I am not convinced of that, all right? Uh, to the upside, we'd be looking right now at 160. 161.57, and to the downside, we're looking at one at uh, 160 even down there. All right, and uh, Euro Yen has 114 pip ATR. 
Pounyan, same thing happening here. We got it down on the turn, but they have not turned. Then they pulled up. So they may not be out of all their money over here. That may be the only reason they're not turning down. MACD pointing the way down. So we're a seller. I'm not going to trade into a day chart top anyway. And pound yen has an ATR of 124 pips. All right. New Zealand dollar. Right. New Zealand dollar making the turn. Not, doesn't have a big ATR, only uh, what 54 pips. So target is down here at 60.98. And um, it'll be hard pressed to even get there this morning. Aussie yen. Right? Aussie yen right up to uh, Friday's ATR right there. The new ATR is just, just slightly higher right there. We're just almost a target right now. Notice how the MACD rolled over back to the upside. It's very responsive and shows you that. Target is at uh, 97.76, holding for 9,800 up there. And uh, Aussie Yen has an ATR of 64 pips. <clears throat> Your Aussie waited to trade this all morning and it never gave us a pullback. So we're done at this one. Unfortunately, it's a nice opportunity, but it had already happened in London and we couldn't get a pullback up here to take advantage of it. So there we go. The target is at uh, uh, 64.50 down there. And uh, Euro Aussie has an ATR of 107 pips. Pound Aussie, right? Pound Aussie, a real estate of the week trade. has been having trouble going. We'll see if it is tonight again. And having trouble, it's, uh, we don't have enough room left. But if we get a pullback up in here, the target is down here at 92.80 if you get a pullback. And then you would be able to trade it. And Pound Aussie has an ATR of 106 pips a day. You're in New Zealand, right? Waiting for the breakout still hasn't happened yet. Our target is down here at uh, 7,500 right down there. And uh, Euro New Zealand has 124 pip ATR, right? Pound New Zealand, we got a breakout and a no-go. It's going nowhere right here. Target is down here at uh, 20, well, basically 500, 20,500. And uh, Pound New Zealand has an ATR of 129 pips. New Zealand yen pushing up after hitting the ATR to the pip and took its target out to the pip there and done all the way back up again. And, uh, you know, if you didn't know the ATR was there, you didn't move your stop. You just gave it all back. That's not good. That's why we use the ATR. It's not, not just for targets. It's if you hit it, if, if I don't have room to the target, I don't make a trade. That's a per, pretty good piece of information. I hit that and bounce off it. I, and I, I know where to move my stop. So I, I uh, keep my profit instead of giving it back. Yeah, all those kind of things that it tells you. So it's very important. 60 pip ATR. Wait for five o'clock. See if this is a pullback to go again to the downside. MACD is telling you, you might want to consider that. All right. And finally, pound Swissy. Can't show you Aussie New Zealand or Aussie Swissy. Looking to go up here to uh, uh, 10. Uh, I can't even read it. What is it? I don't know. I can't read it. Well, it looks like 90, 1.1090, 1 something like that. Not 55 pips anyway. But later on, you'll get a new ATR after 5 o'clock. It has a 59 pip ATR. Might be able to trade it. Maybe. Only got four pips to play with there. So not much, right? All righty. 